So what are you doing right now? Connecting the back side of the bed with the four bolts. And I use this key to tighten them all the way in. The what key? Hex key. The other two are in. I'm gonna have to shoot the next parts. We can pause it. What is that? I'm connecting the front bar support. And there were so got the screws here. And the screws aren't fully tight, so you're just sliding it through this bracket and then securing. Okay. And the other side as well too. This little foot lever needs to be down. Oh, shit. Sturdiness of that. It's good. Right, now you have to figure out what height you want your your bed to be at. And what height did you want? Do you want the highest one? Yeah. Yeah. Be back at the front. I'm not sure if there's a front or a back side of this. First time doing this one. So and these these metal pieces on the end, they move. So I don't know the importance of that right now. Let's just try and turn around at the back here. I caught a fly. Really? Yeah. Let's see if this works any better. Now I have to wash my hand. It seems like it might work a little bit better. Old plastic, worried about it potentially cracking, but it seems solid. Does it move? Okay, I'll get the front of the bed. Okay, 
This is the part that took me a while to figure out. So, there's a few different orders of operation here, but first, it's actually four springs. So two sizes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandwich this bottom piece, spring below and spring on top. And there's a bar gonna be my heel. The whole front here, so. Trial by error, I figured out that just kind of balancing this big screen first works best. And this slides this uh drop down. It's not necessarily attached to this front frame. The only thing that's attached is this this bar here. Um, but there is additional support on this beam. It actually kind of clicks in here. So actually might be able to try clicking it in here. There. So it clicked in, so I'm holding it in place a little bit. Taking this bar going down. Like so. And then actually, you mentioned the sandwich. I'm gonna put this on top here, bouncing on top of the big guy on the, or the wider part of the spring on the board. Like that. Through, down to the spring, and now we're good. We're all locked in. down and then I'm going to secure the side with the bolt here. Now in order to secure the side with the bolt, I yeah, I'm going to have to drop this down. Just So what I do here is I just click in. Oops. The grip was maybe not the best plan. Just doing that. And it drops down. So I'm going to bring this bar. line with the board. Use my bolt. And I'll just hand secure it in. It goes in most of the way without using an additional tool. So you notice I'm keeping the droop just by my right foot here, just kind of lifting it up. You can use your hand if you feel comfortable. There it is. Bring that in. All right, works for now. Same thing on this side, it becomes a little easier because it's already in line. Oh, it's swinging out. Looks <laughs> like you can swing it out too. I'm gonna put the big bolt down here and I have to lift it up first. So I'll lift it up, secure it like it did earlier. Okay. Big screen, big spring, little spring. Bar down. Small spring sandwich between. down through the big spring all the way down. Now the baby's on the left side now. Kick to drop with your bare foot, be careful. And actually now since the springs are in here, in order to drop it, you have to lift up a little bit. It's a safety feature. It keeps it from more easily dropping down without intention. So I'm dropping this down. And I'm going to lift the metal bar up and then just once again securing it by hand. That's all it takes. Okay, so now you have working, working crib. So here we go, lifting up. 
the top and then you have to lift up a little bit and it clicks down. If I were just to kick in to drop the front, it's not, it's going to prevent me from doing that. Again, lift up a little bit more, push in, it goes, and then going down for easier access to the bed. And that's it.